Hello again, in this video I want to show you how you can safely delete Ubuntu partitions or Linux partitions, whichever distro of Linux you've got installed alongside Windows. Um, I'm going to safe, show you how to safely delete Ubuntu and restore the MBR so that it doesn't affect um, Windows. So you'll, you'll still be able to boot into Windows. So for this demonstration I'm going to use a tool called Minitool Partition Wizard. I've already got it installed. The website, sorry that's the application, the website you go to is partitionwizard.com and you're going to hit home, get the home version. That works on Windows 7 and Windows 8. Once you've downloaded and installed that when you run the application this is what you get it shows all the partitions on your hard drive you can see the top one is my D drive, that's my second hard drive uh, the one beneath that is the C drive the NTFS, that's where Windows sits and I created an EXT4 partition for uh, Zorin OS and also a Linux partition uh, a Linux swap partition sorry so I've now decided that I don't need Zorin anymore because I'm going to try um, various other distros of uh, Linux. So let's get started. Um, so the first thing you want to do is right click on the EST4 partition. That's where your Linux or Ubuntu would be sat. You go to right click, delete, and then the Linux swap partition, right click, delete and now we're going to expand the rest of the C drive so that it fills the hard drive and we're going to move resize now all you need to do here is drag that slider all the way across so that means Windows is now going to, the C drive is now going to be filling the whole the whole of the hard drive just say OK and up at the top apply the actions. You'll always get this, apply pending changes, we strongly recommend you turn off power saving feature on your computer and close all other applications before you apply the pending um, changes. I normally just say yes to that. It's doing its thing. Now that's complete, but now if you, was, if you were to reboot your computer, you won't boot back into Windows. Because um, when you installed uh, Ubuntu alongside Windows, um, that altered the master boot record. So what we're going to do now is on the C drive, just click the icon there. If you, do you see how when you click on the partition? it's different from clicking on the hard drive itself now we need to be on the hard drive and if you notice here now we've got a new option it says rebuild MBR just hit that you can see there that it's it's put it down at the bottom under operations pending so now if you're ready to apply that hit apply say yes There you go, it just takes a second and that's the MBR repaired. So now you'll be able to close off everything. I'll leave the link in the description by the way uh, to the mini tool partition wizard. It's a fantastic tool. I use it several times a week um, because I'm always trying uh, different distros uh, from uh, distrowatch.com. Uh, I'm a big fan of Linux but you know, I'm not as big a fan as I am of Windows. You know, Windows is always my primary part, of, uh, my primary operating system. So, just to demonstrate it, I'm going to reboot. And I won't, I won't pause the video. I'll let you see the um, uh, the reboot process, just so you can um, 
see that it works. taking its time. Now would be a good time to make myself another cup of tea. I'm actually using an old, um, quite an old machine. Uh, it's a Dell Optiplex. Um, there you go, it's, it's turned off now so I'll just press the button. And then now you won't be prompted with the uh, with the boot options to boot into Linux or Windows. That's completely gone, and it's repaired the master boot record. Should just boot straight into Windows. Oops, I correct myself. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a, a second tool. I didn't expect that to happen. That's not happened before. Usually um, that boot option is gone, and you just boot straight into Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another tool um, that will edit that boot menu. You can either edit the boot menu by deleting the, deleting the Linux from it or you can tick a box to skip that boot menu completely. So I'll show you what I mean. Sorry if my hands are a bit shaky, it's just I'm using my mobile phone for this video. I do need to invest in a, a decent digital camera and a tripod. As you can see, I'm a big fan of M5s. Love BMWs. I'll just let it finish booting up. So if if you didn't do that final step in Mini Tool Partition Wizard, repair the MBR, you, you wouldn't have you wouldn't be able to boot into Windows. Okay, we booted up. So now I've got it installed already. I'll leave I'll leave the link to this application in the description. Also, it's called Easy BCD. It's only a tiny application. Very useful. And very easy to use. Now this is it. This is Easy BCD. And the option that we're going to use is edit boot menu and you can see that Zorin is still there and I think it's because when I installed Zorin on the on the EXT4 partition when I booted rebooted the computer after the install it didn't prompt me with a boot menu so I had to use easy BCD myself to manually add Zorin OS to the boot menu so that's why um, it's still there. Um, so all you do here is just make sure that Windows 7 is set as the default and then just, just highlight Zorin or whichever, whichever Linux distribution you've got Ubuntu, Linux Lite, Linux Mint, whichever one and just hit delete. Yes. And then don't forget to say save settings and that's it, it's as easy as that but like I was saying earlier um, you, you could have 
just ticked skip boot menu because when when you add when you manually add another option to the boot menu it changes this changes to wait for user selection so I could have either just left Zorin sat there it wouldn't you know it wouldn't done, it wouldn't have done it any harm I could have just ticked skip the boot menu and it would have loaded straight into Windows so now um, Sorin has gone. I'm just going to say save settings again, just to make sure. And that that is all there is to it. Two very useful applications. Mini tool partition wizard and Easy BCD. I'll leave the uh, description. I'll leave the uh, links in the description. And one final thing, I'll just restart the computer again, just to show you that it worked. I do this several times a week and nothing has ever affected um, the way Windows operates. Time to put the kettle on again. Straight into Windows. No boot menu. And that's it for this video. Uh, thanks again for watching. And as always, comment, rate, subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next video.